I just passed the five year anniversary of being out and open about a secret that I kept from every person in my life for 10 years. And that was that I was struggling with bulimia and no one knew. And in honor of those five years, every day during the month of November, I would like to post a video about my struggle, my journey, why it happened, how it happened, how bad it got, how I stay in a good place today. So if you have any questions for me, I'd be so honored for you to send those to me. Um, I am a journalist who always knew that I wanted to share stories. However, it was so easy. I worked in local news for six years. It was so easy to share other people's stories, but I was not even able to look at my own. And when I finally uncovered my own story, so much transformation happened and it made me realize I want to spend the rest of my life helping other people uncover their stories too. So send me your questions. I promise to be honest. No question is off the table. I really want to help anyone else who might be battling this realize that you're not alone, that there is healing, that it's possible. I know how consuming bulimia can feel at my worst. I was binging and purging sometimes 15 times a day. I had stolen food, I had a secret credit card that I maxed out to $5,000 so my husband wouldn't know. You know, he'd leave and I'd eat all the food in the house and have to run to the grocery store to replace it before he got home. Um, it is all consuming. I get how heavy and impossible it can feel. So I'm here to be honest and hopefully someone else can find some healing or some hope in what I've been through. Um, I have felt myself shy away in recent years from sharing about my struggle and that's because the hard pill to swallow is that my recovery has not been perfect. I was great for a few years after coming out about my, my struggle and then in COVID, fell off the wagon. And that was really hard to face because I think the next voice of shame that got in my head was, who are you to help anyone or to talk about this if now you're struggling again? And so luckily my husband called me out and I was able to be like, honestly, just admitting that I was struggling got me back into that good place. And I now know what I need to do to stay in a good place. But sometimes stressors happen and you find yourself struggling again. I find myself struggling again. And that's still hard to admit because I want to be perfect still. But nobody is perfect and this human journey is messy for everybody. So some of your questions, I'd be honored to answer them, honored for you to listen.